Continental Industries The Ultimate Connection A Division of Burndy LLC Thermoweld presents a Thermoweld Exothermic Connection representation. The setup. After attaching our B106 handle clamp to the mold, position the mold around your cable, assuring the cable's rods are in firm contact with each other. Raise the easy light lid. Place the steel disc into the bottom of the crucible. Carefully add the proper weld metal into the mold. At the bottom of the weld metal container, we pack our starting powder. Make sure you don't release any of the starting powder by tapping the tube. Close the easy light lid. Tap a small amount of the starting powder onto the top of the mold. The ignition process. Using a flint igniter, ignite the starting powder on the top of the mold. The spark from the flint igniter causes a reaction within the weld metal, melting and separating the metals. The molten metal melts the steel disc, allowing it to flow into the weld cavity, creating a permanent connection. This video shows the actual process. The aluminum rises to the top of the connection, creating slag, and the copper creates the weld. We recommend that you wait approximately 15 to 20 seconds, allowing the weld metal to cool slightly. The mold can now be opened and the slag can be cleaned from the mold with a soft bristle brush. The result is a permanent, maintenance-free connection, one that will not loosen or corrode, and one that is unaffected by high current surge and carries current equal to or greater than the conductor.